Hi, I'm going to give a more detailed overview of the SAB um, satellite finder, uh, which also has a CCTV monitor um, and camera testing on a uh, facility on it as well. So in this particular video, we're going to focus on the satellite side of it here with a separate video covering the CCTV uh, element. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we just go into the main menu and we'll see that we have a satellite connection and satellite list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down to the satellite list and we'll see there's a huge list of satellites for all over the world pre-programmed in it. Each are pre-programmed then with maybe up to 100 transponders each. So if we scroll down here, we're looking for 28.5 degrees, um, or uh, 28.2 degrees. And if I just press the OK button, I'll actually have selected it here. I press the exit button and I'm out, okay? So if we just come back in here, we'll see that we have a choice to go everywhere now. So we'll say if we went to a connection here, we could choose either to go for a standard a fixed antenna or a motorized one. So obviously most people, 99.99% will be using just a standard one. If we come for the antenna setup here, uh, it's just asking us the frequency uh, and we just have an ability there to change the LMB frequency. So we don't re require to do that again. And then we can do a single or a multiple satellite search but probably it's not realistic. Well, we could do the single satellite search here, and we could say which satellite we want to search. We could do the full range of the channels, see exactly what can be picked up on it, and we could um, say that if we want it encrypted or free channels. So people would generally want only free channels if they don't have a decryption system, uh, we'll say on this meter. Uh, and then we'll probably just go for the TV channels, but you could go for TV and radio, etc. So I could go through this whole process here, but I won't. I'm just gonna actually exit out here, and I'm gonna go down to the TP list. And the reason that I'll do it this way is, it's a more sensible way of doing a satellite test, because what you're doing is you're picking out a particular transponder you're interested in, We're, we, we'll use one I think here that's used primarily for ITV and we'll just do a quick search and see does that find it. Uh, so rather than searching through every transponder, really what you're doing at this point of setting up on a satellite is um, you will come along and just find out does one particular transponder work, because if it works probably all of them will work. And the other reason that it can be popular here is the certain guys who are using meters like this will say might have a contract specifically for a certain sports channel, uh, turf TV, something like that. And there's only one transponder they're going to be interested in then because it's only ever going to be on one channel. But that'd be a little bit unusual. But what I'll do here is I'm just going to press, it gives all the color options you can go to, edit, delete, add, etc. And that's why you'd be using the remote control. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm simply going to be come along, I'll just hit the OK button. And I'll just go up here and say, yes, I only want free to wear channels. I want to do a scan just for TV stations. And uh, we can just leave network scan uh, search to know. And what I'll do here is it'll just scan through for this one particular transponder. I will see it'll pick it up here now. And what we can actually do is flick out in a moment and we'll look at ITV. Now, one thing I'm gonna to say to you uh, and is interesting about this is it, it's a sort, sort of a common misconception that people are thinking, oh, I searched for a particular satellite. And uh, really when, you're sat uh, when a satellite uh, meter is testing, at any time it's only testing for a transponder. So it is possible the same transponder could be on multiple satellites or listed on multiple satellites. So you could look for a transponder and, uh, on an ASH2 satellite and in potentially it would work in Australia because it'd be the same transponder you could be looking for on that particular frequency, etc. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But, um, but by choosing a particular transponder that you know is unique to your satellite, things like that, and generally we'll say picking any transponder works quite well. But that, that's a little quirk I often just say to people uh, because they might be fully aware of it. But if I came along and I exited out here, uh, we could just go in and we can actually view the, the channels here, okay? And what I'll do here again is just go back into the menu thing. Now just quickly flicking through the other ones, we can come along and we can list our TV channels here and we can exit out here again. And we could delete all channels uh, if we wanted to do a rescan, something like that. Now yeah, we can come along here, we can change the languages. There's quite a, a range of languages inside here. So I'll just come in here and we'll just do English. Or you can just press the OK here and you can just drop down to the menu there. So there's about uh, 15 or 20 languages listed in on it. And it gives you the idea of uh, audio, teletext, all the rest of it here. So you can see to a huge extent, this really is a set-top box with a screen built in. And that's why actually the media player functionality is on it. So it actually could be used as a portable uh, media uh, center as well. Um, if we come along and we do a lot of settings and messing around and we're not too comfortable with it, what we can actually do is we can just go into um, factor setting here and flick it over and, um, and just reset it to the default ones. There's gaming things inside there as well. 
and then this gives the option of playing back. So if we had a USB stick added on here, all the rest of it here. So, you know, a lot of the other um, professional meters would stop here. We'd have a whole series of videos covering all these things, but it was all in reality, I would say for 99% of our customers, a complete waste of time. What people want to do is be able to come along, set up a satellite dish, say I'm going for Astro 2, and just aim, point, gone, or for a hot bird, forever like that. And this meter came along and it said that, it's a, exactly do that. And because the functionality is quite common in it, it added on the feature for the CCTV as well, which is really cool feature to have on it. And something that, you know, it's very, very commonplace. And it really what makes this meter ideal for both the professional and the DIYer, because it's got great functionality, um, but has kept the overall design simplistic and the cost relatively low. So that's it anyway, an overview of the main menu features found inside the Saab um, satellite and CCTV meter.